an N95 mask that we have to deal with. These are painter's masks. Get us equipment, get us PPEs, get us N95 masks that work anything. Get us tests for everybody. There have been outcries across the globe on shortage of personal protective equipment, which have been on high demand since the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's worthy of note that coronavirus spreads primarily through droplets emitted while coughing, sneezing, or even speaking. Personal protective equipment like gloves, surgical face masks, air purifying respirators, ventilators, goggles, face shields, and gowns are essential in preventing the spread of infection, mostly amongst the patient and healthcare workers. Without these personal protective equipment, community health workers can neither maintain existing health services or conduct additional services required to interrupt and control the virus from spreading across communities. For these reasons, the federal government and its state counterparts are doing a lot to ensure that the well-being of healthcare workers are sought after, especially in the provision of essential personal protective equipment, among other incentives. Most times, the society neglects those at the front line, especially the healthcare workers who are putting their lives on the line to make the country safe from any disease outbreak. Names of the likes of Dr. Stella Adedevo, Aliu Yakubu, Emeka Chugbo, amongst other healthcare workers, still remains fresh in our memories as they lay down their lives in the line of duty. As a way of complementing the government's efforts in supporting these healthcare workers in the community, Pink Mind Initiative, a non-governmental organization, has decided to donate about 1,300 pieces of face shields as palliatives to true federal health institutions in Lagos State. I know what it is for people to have a stable mind, a mind free of stress and anxiety. And I've been able to reach out to people in the course of my creating awareness, talking to people, and I've seen that people actually need us in the community. They look out for somebody to be there for them. They look out for somebody to really show this true love and care, which relieves them of anxiety and stress. And one of the reasons why we pick up this idea that even the health workers, we need to be supported, we need to be cared for. With all we've been seeing, even outside Nigeria, that some people, they don't still believe that coronavirus exists. To the point that some even believe that it's a rich man disease. They will tell you if you go to market, say, I beg, leave that thing, no be for us, not for the rich men. It's it cause for concern, sincerely speaking. You don't need to be a victim of it or a patient before you now believe that actually this COVID-19 is real. Lagos being the epicenter of the virus in the country, the organization in its first phase of the distribution decided to reach out to healthcare workers in Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Idiaraba, and the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba. Think Mind Initiative, we sat down with like, we also need to reach out to the health workers because the government cannot do it alone. You might be saying it's small, this is, is, is small, but at least it's better to give something than sitting back and be saying government should do this, government should do that for you. On Wednesday, 27th, May 2020, members of the Pink Mind Initiative Group presented the palliative to the management of Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Idiaraba, and the head of its nursing and education. On behalf of Pink Mind Initiative, we have brought 50 pieces of face sheet to School of Nursing in Yaraba. Thank you. We want to appreciate you, Pink Mind Initiative. Initiative. We appreciate uh, your gesture for even rem remembering us. Because people tend to cut us off. They have forgotten that we are also nurses. <laughs> So for you to remember us, we say thank you very much. On behalf of uh, the Chief Medical Director and Legal University Chair of the Peace Body, um, I would like to appreciate Pink Mind uh, for these uh, talks. And uh, on behalf of also our patients and also the healthcare workers, 
uh, whose intention is actually really um, protect us um, by providing us with this. I can assure you that uh, we make uh, good use of this and uh, we hope that uh, this is not a one-off that you are still going to remember us. On the same day, the group proceeded to the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba, to present the materials to the medical director of the institution, Dr. Olayemi Ogun. As time goes on, God's willing, if we still have more resources, we will still remember Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba. But at this time, we have this token. Thank you very much for accepting our token. Once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to members of Pink Mind Initiative. May God continue to bless you for this donation. More over 500 uh, face uh, shields to be able to fight coronavirus. We thank you so much. May God bless you. It's not only this two facilities we chose. This is our first day anyway of carrying out the, the plans we have. We also have other institutions that are lined up for next week. We, we plan to do 10,000 to health workers across Lagos State for now. Then we started with nursing school. That's loot. Here we are in the Abanero Psychiatric Hospital. But so by next week, we'll move to last suit probably to allow SA to help uh, ministry. Then from there, we'll bring it down, look at the local government level to health centers. So it's not only for these two institutions. Considering the vulnerability of the healthcare workers as they belong to one community or the other, making them potential agents of transmission of the virus. The group, however, made a clarion call to well-meaning Nigerians and other organizations to support the government in taking care of the welfare of these frontliners in the different health facilities as they have high risk of contracting the virus and spreading in their various communities. My advice is to, number one, know that coronavirus is real. There, is, there are a lot of uh, conspiracy theories about the existence of coronavirus. It's not real. It is, coronavirus is real. We should take that serious. Then we, we should follow instructions from the NCDC. Every of the instructions, we should follow them religiously. For this time, we should use our face mask, our face, uh, we should wash our hands. We should do everything right now to make sure that, okay, fine, we are safe from coronavirus. I'm using this media to, to, to reach out to non-governmental organizations like Pink Mind that in the little way they have to help to, to give back to the society, they should please come out and do it. Nothing is too small. And I can assure them that whatever they bring or whatever they, they give to the health workers will go a long way. Because government alone cannot do it. We all know that is it, it, a, a fact that we know and we all need to accept that government cannot do it alone. Individually, we need to come out on our own as an organization, as an individual, you need to come out and assist and appreciate the health workers. I want to encourage as many NGOs that have the means to rise up to support the health workers at this time, not just in Lagos State. If we have enough support, we are ready to reach out to all health workers in the nation. But this is the little we can do for now. But God's willing, if we are able to get resources, as we hope, definitely will reach out beyond legal states. Now, so I want to encourage all the non-governmental organizations to please rise up to support our health workers.